if you get to be 65 or 70 and later, and, and the people that you want to have love you actually do love you, you're a success. I've never seen anybody that reaches that age. I mean, I'm not talking about somebody that's in extreme poverty or pain or something, but I've never seen anybody that, if they have a lot of people that, that love them, that is other than happy. And I've seen some very, very wealthy people that they give testimonial dinners to and name schools after and everything. And nobody, nobody loves them, you know. By far the best investment you can make is in yourself. I mean, that, for example, communication skills. I tell the students that come that uh, they're going to graduate schools and business and they, they're learning all these complicated formulas and all that. If they just learn to communicate better, and both in writing and in person, they increase their value at least 50%. And I mean, they did. If you can't communicate, somebody says, you know, it's like winking at a girl in the dark. Nothing happens, you know, basically. And and you have to be able to get get forth your ideas. And uh, and that's that's relatively easy. I did it myself with the Dale Carnegie course. Some people wish I'd taken a shorter course now <laughs> in terms of my talking later on. But it, it it's just hugely important. And you, if you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you. The second thing, which I'll get a certain criticism for not living it, but but I do tell the those students, you know, that if I gave you a car and it'd be the only car you get in the rest of your life, you, you'd take care of it like you can't believe any scratch you'd fix that moment, you'd read the owner's manual, you'd keep a garage and do all these things, and you get exactly one mind and one and one body in this world. And and you can't start taking care of it when you're fifty. By that time you'll have rusted out if you haven't done anything. So you you should you should really make sure that you just remember that you just got one mind and body to get through life with and to do the most with it. What about life advice? Well, life advice is, uh, you know, the most important thing, aside from the things I've talked about already, is, is really who you associate with. You want to associate with people that are better than you are. I mean, basically, you'll go in the direction of the people that you associate with. And, and you want to have the right heroes. You want people, if you want to emulate somebody, you better pick very carefully who you want to emulate and uh, obviously you can't pick your parents they're going to have an enormous influence on you but you don't get a choice on that but you get choices as you go down the line and you who you uh, who you admire who you who you want to copy and the most important for most people in terms of that decision is their spouse it's also important in terms of a partner in business but the partner in life is is, is the most important you, you want to pick a spouse that's Little, little better than you are, <laughs> and then he or she, and, hope, and you hope they don't f figure it out too fast. <laughs> Is business school worth it? Depends on the person, uh, much more than it depends on the school. I mean, I, I wouldn't worry. Some people are going to get a lot out of advanced education, and some people are going to get very little. And uh, I, I don't even think it's important that every person go to college at all. I mean, we have all kinds of jobs that. 70 or so thousand a year, 80,000 a year, that college training is is not of use. And, and I, I actually was not keen on going to college really? myself. Yeah, my dad kind of jollied me into it. He could get me to do anything. But and if they'd had an SAT test in those days, he would have taken the test for me. <laughs> but because I, I just, I, I was, I, I, I knew I could have a good time and I, I liked investing. and. I didn't really feel I, I, I could read the books, so I don't. You know, it's it's a big commitment to take four years and the the cost involved and maybe the loans involved and everything. And I think, depending on what your interests are in life, I, I don't think I don't think it's for everybody. I think it's for a lot of people, but there ought to be a reason you're going. And I didn't really see much reason. It never bothered me if people disagreed with what I thought, uh, as long as I felt I knew the facts. I mean, I, there's a whole bunch of things I don't know to think about. I just stay away from those. Uh, so I stay within what I call my circle of competence. You know, that uh, Tom Watson said it best. He said, you know, he said,